everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm sharing my project for the new Summertime Coffee Release Hop from Not Too Shabby. You can follow along with the hop by using the hashtag N2S Summertime Coffee, as well as enter a giveaway for a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby shop. All you have to do to enter is leave a like and comment on each of the videos along the way, as well as enter at the Rafflecopter link in the description box below. Before we get started on today's tutorial, let's take a closer look at all the fun goodies that come in this month's kit. First up is this Make It Iced Please paper pad. And next up is the summer coffee paper pad. Next up is the Here Comes the Sun stencil. There are two stamp sets in this month's kit, the first one being Rise and Shine, which matches perfectly with the summer coffee paper pad. And the second one, which is called Java Nice Day, has some awesome coffee sentiments as well as some cute coffee images. Also included is this super cute sequin mix, as well as the two coordinating ephemera sets. Here's a closer look at the first ephemera set that matches the Make It Ice Please paper pad, and here is the matching set to the Summer Coffee paper pad. For today's card, I'm going to be focusing on the Summer Coffee collection. I was really inspired by the soft colors in this collection, as well as the style of the images. I don't know why, but when I seen it, I knew I had to make something big and layered and chunky. So <laughs> I started by getting some of my crepe paper and making a rosette. I made a few in a couple different colors, but wasn't really loving the dimension I was getting on these. So instead, I brought in a needle and thread and layered up some crepe paper in about four layers and then weaved my needle through about a quarter inch up from the bottom of the crepe paper and then pulled it tight to round it off and then tied it up to get a super chunky rosette.
Next, I'm going to embellish my rosette with the ephemera, and I pulled out the piece to use for my sentiment that reads, Be here now, and I really like that. Before I added any more of the ephemera pieces, I brought in some silver thread and just wrapped that around my fingers to get some loopy texture, and then layered up the ephemera on top of that. I used top glue to make sure everything stayed in place, and I also added some extra dimension with some foam tape. Once my rosette was complete, I flipped through the paper pad and picked out two different pattern papers. I trimmed down this first piece to a 5.5 inch square and the next into a 5 inch square. Once I had everything layered up, I thought it looked like it needed one more layer, so I pulled in this piece of dotted blue paper and I couldn't bring myself to trim it down, so I ended up with a 6 inch square card. <laughs> and I guess I was going with a go big or go home vibe on this one, because I then decided to pop up each of the layers with some fun foam. And because my card was so big, I had to pull in a piece of 12 by 12 paper to make my card base. So I just pulled in this coordinating um, light blue piece and scored that down the middle to create my base. Next, I used liquid glue and hot glue to glue everything together. Because my blue 12 by 12 cardstock was textured, I'm going to add a 5.5 inch square of white smooth cardstock to the inside. I also added a piece of ephemera to the inside as well. And that finishes off my card for today's hop using the new summertime coffee kit from Not Too Shabby. I think this is the biggest card I've ever made, but I absolutely love it. I think it would also look great in like a shadow box and then hung in my kitchen. So I might do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.